All right, guys, welcome back to another SoCal Expeditions video. Today, I'm getting something that I've wanted for the longest time, but have never been able to find. Um, as you're gonna see later in this video, I actually ended up purchasing a flip pack. If you don't know what a flip pack is, they're a company that started, um, I believe in the 2000s or maybe early 2010 or something. Um, and they shut doors in 2016. They designed a camper shell plus a tent that would actually fold over your roof and they ended up going out of business due to the loss of one of their members or something like that. So anyways, they shut doors just like Pelfrey built. They ended up, uh, a couple of people ended up not getting their deposits ever back. But sourcing down a flip pack has been one of the hardest things I've ever done because it's either people want premium dollar for one, so it doesn't fit your truck, or they're in poor condition. So after, I think it's been a year and a half, I've been searching for one and been looking everywhere. And I found one that was actually on a truck that was posted for sale up in Santa Barbara area. So the second I found it, I was posted one hour ago and I called the guy and said, hey, is this flip pack still for sale? And he looks at me and said, or over the phone, he says, no, I'm sorry, someone's coming to buy the truck. And I was bummed out and I was like, all right, if the person ever wants to sell the flip pack that's buying the truck, let me know, I'll come buy it. So as I'm driving home um, from work, I get this call from someone named John and John is the person who purchased that truck. And he says, hey, I don't need the flip pack, do you want it? And I literally said, all right, I'll give you three grand right now. Let's do it. absolutely surreal I am so stoked that I'm able to get this on the truck um, the back of it is still a mess this is a bed carpet kit and everything that I'm gonna need to take off but that's the flip pack it's absolutely insane um, it actually is in such good condition for what it is looking at everything about it none of the hinges have rust that's like barely considered surface rust. Um, the tent the tent vinyl all needs to be cleaned. Right now, I'm getting ready to put the hood pins in on the side, which are gonna hold the struts down. Um, these are practically just supports that they don't do anything for weight, but this holds the lid from flipping back over. So I'm gonna start cleaning and getting right to it. I'm so excited to do this project now. There's going to be a full build going on with this. This is going to be a $4,000 budget build. And by budget build, I mean my budget, which is $4,000. And that includes the purchase price of the flip pack. So three grand right now is gone. So I have another $1,000 to put my fridge in to get the bed build ready to do solar. Um, if I can fit a used roof rack or if I can find something like that, like a Prinsu, I will do that too. But this is gonna be $4,000, that's the budget, no more, and try and make everything work in that money span. So I'm gonna get started taking everything out of the truck and then showing you guys what the inside of it looks like. And then there are six windows, one, two, three, four, five, six windows in this thing. It's huge, there are so many windows. But the person who did own it put a couple things in there that's super nice. Um, this setup that has all the black cables is just like this side, which uh, holds things to the side. Um, I thought that was pretty nifty. There's a paper towel, towel holder right here. Um, there's supposed to be a water bottle holder on this side right here. And uh, this side has a propane holder, which is super nice. There are two lights right here and there's one more right here. These are all wired into a wire that I cannot find right now. But I will definitely have to source, source I think it's right here. 
right there. So um, I'll tie these off in a second and then I'll be wiring that to a battery which is going to be in the bed. Um, it's in great condition interior. It's definitely hard jumping up on here with uh, no bed support or with nothing to lift this a little bit. Definitely sitting low in here. What are these? Oh, no way. This guy likes to get lit. Look at these. What did this guy put in here? I got dual cup holders. That's crazy. This guy was super nifty. The guy who owned this was 92 years old. Um, he kept it in great condition inside. And I mean, I'm definitely gonna have to re-oil or oil all of these uh, zippers and stuff and be really careful with them. As I can see, it's starting, sometimes it starts catching. Like this is right here. Just really being careful with it. Um, don't want to mess this thing up. There aren't too many of these around anymore. But, uh, so far, the netting also looks in really good condition, which is one of the first things I checked out. Because I don't want to redo um, all these mosquito netting. God, you get six windows. This thing's huge. So I'm actually starting to clean things up. I'm using, um, what is this, skate lube on the zippers. So it's a little easier for them to uh, to zip. So what I'm doing actually is just grabbing a little bit then just applying it straight to the zippers. And then I'll cycle the zipper back and forth a little bit. And I'm doing that to each single window. Um, then I'm just gonna wipe everything down a little bit with a wet towel. That's my way. So everything's a mess. We're all cleaning up, taking down Christmas decorations and whatnot. Um, for the interior, what I'm gonna end up doing is I'm gonna be leaving all this. Um, I'm gonna leave this, put this all back together. I need to get longer bolts. These are 5 16 by four inches. I probably need to get 5 16 by five and a half. And then once I get all those new bolts and everything put together, um, I'm not gonna use that carpet kit. And then I'll do something for the bed um, and make something that works. I also have to figure out why there's a piece of duct tape here, um, but I'm gonna wait till after it stops raining to take care of that. Also, there is a gap right here in between the seal and the truck. Um, maybe you could see it better right there. So. My goal was to lift the flip pack with a couple, two, two other people, and then run another seal underneath this. So two seals are sitting on top of each other and then run that the whole way against the front of the bed. The reason why this is here is since we use the bed caps on the side, it actually lifted up another inch. If we didn't use the bed caps, then we wouldn't have this issue. There is also a seal underneath the bed cap. Um, that kind of show. What I did for the back, there's a seal that runs all the way underneath this, and then there's another seal that'll run all the way down this bed cap right here. Um, you can see the little end of this, the seal sticking out a little bit right there. Um, other than that, the flip pack's in really good condition, which is what I really care about. I might redo some seals up here a little bit, um, these are just like regular bulb seals. There's nothing on the lid though. So I might need to redo a seal right there. But uh, that's kind of what I'm thinking right now is just seal everything because it's supposed to rain. And then once the rain stops, then I can really start um, giving my attention to different things here and there. But first is trying to make it as waterproof as it can be. It'll never be fully waterproof, but it's better to have a little bit of waterproofness than nothing. So that's what I'm gonna uh, tackle first right now. So 
so I could see that the back seal right here actually had a gap in it. Um, and that's the tent fabric right there. I just cut a new seal out and I'm gonna lay it on the top. <laughs> I'm gonna lay it on the top of uh, this so it'll connect with the bulb seal down here and hopefully be more waterproof. So oh, yeah. now I'm starting to seal the sides up a little bit. So we're adding a new seal on the, the bottom that's gonna make contact with the top bulb seal. It's a little smaller. I'd use the smaller seal just to make sure that um, that there weren't gonna be any issues when it comes to closing it because there's already so much tension on these hinges right here. So by using the smaller seal, it should make contact and should um, help out just a little bit with, uh, with keeping water out. So I'm gonna finish doing this left side right here. I'm gonna run this seal all the way down to the bottom over there. And then I'm gonna switch over and do the other side. And then I'm gonna show you guys how well uh, all this um, bulb sealing helped out and see if it's uh, anything close to waterproof. I still haven't had a chance to do the bed. So the bed is still gonna leak a ton of water in, but uh, I don't have enough time to do it right now. So this is good enough for now. We'll see what happens. All right, so the new seal is added and you can see that it's touching the entire way around. Um, there's still a minor gap right there, but the new back seal is added. So that should seal a lot better. Um, I'm just looking for any spots where I can add more, but it looks really, really good. Um, added one seal here, which doesn't look pretty, but uh, it should work. And then I added one more strip of bulb sealing here so that when I close it, it's making contact with that seal. This seal I'm going to need to redo better because as you can see it's going to start peeling out but it's uh, making contact with that seal. Um, and that's it for now. These gaps I'll address later but uh, I think that's it for now. I'm just going to work on fixing this one seal a little bit. Maybe taking it off and doing it a little different. Um, because when the window closes it wants to rip that seal out that way. So. I'm gonna try and think of a different way to do this last seal. And then it should be waterproof enough. I think it's, it's going places. <laughs> so I'm gonna see how it, uh, it'll work. I also think these lights that are in there are from FRP themselves. Because the way that um, this is wired is this goes into the shell and the wire's not tucked anywhere and it's going through both of those, so I don't know. Maybe it is, maybe it's not. I guess uh, we'll have to find out later. Once I do start doing my own wiring, I'm gonna dig into it and see everything about it. So that's it for this video. Thank you for watching and uh, enjoy the rest of the build to come. We'll come together slowly. Peace out.